But, uh... That death shouldn't have happened. I just let it happen. Uh... Oh, these guys are 19. No, no wonder. Um, I am not gonna. That is not what I wanted. No, to strike your face from my fingernails. My weapons aren't ordered properly. Um, what? For what though? Like, why? Um. Was it the plan, like, before going to the bunker? Uh... Because they had to find out how to get through the, the gate. Which, uh... I could see the, uh, gathering information for the wildlife preserve to take... a couple weeks. Because, you know, it's intel gathering. But no more than that. And if it wasn't for that, then I have no idea what they would have used it on. <laughs> uh. Alright, it's, it's better than uh, Lilith and Roland who are chilling in the fucking in sanctuary the entire time, and you're wondering why. It is a, like, commanders, but still. You walk the wrong dog! God, I hate rats. I really need a new weapon, too. This, this rock salt is, uh, doing me no favors. Oh, I leveled. How about that? Please shoot the enemy. Uh... I don't know. It, it's interesting to hear the timeline. Like... Yeah, like, for that section I could see a couple days prepping to go to the end of the line into the warrior. And I could see time for intel gathering for uh, the claptrap upgrade because they didn't even know how to get past the gate at first. Like they could have some leads, but uh, Without you, Pandora has no hope. I mean, Mordecai is supposed to be this amazing scout, so I can't see it taking even four weeks. Uh, You'll need my help because I know where the key is. It's with me. I'm I'm now curious to s know how long uh, the first game was, like timeline-wise, because I never even thought about that. Uh, just knowing how they think about time now, it, but it could have been somebody else doing that. I I don't know offhand. Uh, Error sanctuary not found. Uh. The phase blast must have taken sanctuary off the fast travel network. No, I didn't break a shield. Okay. Head to the iridium extraction plant nearby. Uh. I think I know how to get you back to your friends. You know, I didn't The Southern Shelf? Is it really that long? Like uh getting out of uh the Southern Shelf? Because that doesn't seem long at all. Uh, like, at most, I'd think a couple of days, because it's supposed to be like, badass walks in and takes over the shelf. Why doesn't that work? I can see your body.
Oh yeah, I'm about to meet one of my other favorite friends. I hate stalkers when I'm in the... Uh, that's such a waste of an ulti that I'm going to run away. That made me want to facepalm like mid-play because it was so bad. You walk the wrong dog. And I've gone through Ultimate Vault Hunter with Craig. Yeah, a month is a really long time, uh, especially since the only way I could see that is if you were unconscious on the ground after the train exploded for like three and a half weeks, or three weeks and you needed several days to recover, but uh, that's not actually the beginning of the game, that's uh, before the beginning of the game. <laughs> Because you are supposed to be this badass vault hunter. And... So, you know, Captain Flint's supposed to be this, this guy who's supposed to be a badass, but he isn't. And then you run him over. Uh... I need ammo. Huh. Plenty of ammo. Okay, we're leaving these stalkers to their own business, because this gun is not good for stalker. Oh, I forgot I have this. Oh, hi! You, I did not see before. Um, how you doing? My flesh is forever! I don't know why I'm using this shotgun. Oh god. Uh, you can cross the river and steal a supply we can get I've never used this shotgun before. And I wanted to try it. It is good if it hits things. If it hits things. But trying to sh Yeah, I could see that, like a couple of days, because you did just like fall off a train and you're forced into fighting immediately, you know? But, I mean, a month? I did that to myself, and there's nobody to blame but me, because I stood next to that barrel and that XP loader while it happened. Never interrupt me! Uh... I would love to hear their logic on their timeline. Like, that's what I'd really like to know. I did it again! <laughs> you oh, thank you, repair server. You're, you're so nice. Please no, please go away! Yeah, I really want another like explanation for the timeline now because uh, without one, it it seems very far fetched, and I I'd, I'd love to hear it eventually. I'll have to look into it myself. Uh, so now I've piqued my interest by talking about it. Uh, Uh. Oh god! They could be! They really could be! And if they did, I could see the whole game being done in five months. Like, uh... Cause you do a lot of shit. And a lot of backtracking for no reason. 
just because you're helping out people you met way long ago. Um, that's a good possibility. I, I wasn't thinking about that though because you'd think when they go for a timeline they think about things that are uh, are pertinent to this, the main story. Especially since they added that new you quest, you'd think they wouldn't want the side quest to be part of the the canon. Especially since they say uh, new you isn't canon. Uh, so you know, I still want to hear their explanation though, because without it. We'll never know. And that would be really sad. It, well, at the same time, it'd be cool, because speculation can be fun. Uh, I like the speculations around Krieg and Tina, even though it's closer to false than true, but I like, I'd like i like to think it's true until it's 100% proven false. Which I don't know if they ever, like, legitimately commented on that after Craig was implemented. Do you see those lunar supply shots? We need to steal a lunar supply beacon and get the moon base to uh, an uncalibrated fast travel unit. They probably did, and I just haven't found it. Uh, I know they've commented on... The subject I'm thinking of, uh, before Craig was implemented, but it wasn't really about Tina and Craig, it was about Tina and her parents, which, uh, I don't know if they ever brought that back up after Craig was, uh, implemented. It's a baptism of blood! My last time I went through this area was in a four player co-op game with a couple of friends who did not want to do side quests. So uh... Lots of dying. Lots and lots of dying. <laughs> I don't think they would for DLC, because uh, the DLC uh, is just sort of afterwards, you know? They could. And then it would be a little more realistic, but at the same time not really, because one of the DLCs takes place in a few hours in terms of real time. Uh, like, uh, time for the players. Nobody kills me but me! Oh god, I'm reloading. This is awful. It's really, really bad. And that is exactly what I get for making a mistake like that. <laughs> Please reload now. Um, because that was terrible. Actually, I should be using this weapon because I have it. And it's a 45% chance to slag. Oh my god, there are loaders here now. Please no. Uh, 
Yeah, that shouldn't have been like that. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh, there's a guy behind me. I wonder how long the DLC did take, though, now that I think about it. I haven't played through the DLCs nearly as much as I've played the, the actual game. Because, uh... I waited a really long time to play the DLC because I was trying to wait on my four-player group that never happened. Uh... So I ended up doing it by myself eventually, and uh, I just haven't gone back to it since then. A spoon. I love this dialogue because it really gets you into Jack's character. Uh, It's also pretty funny. As <laughs> for many reasons, uh, one if you have that kind of humor, it's a funny story. Uh, and then uh, the contradictions are so many. And then the last part of it was pretty good. <laughs> I need to make sure my rocket launcher is reloaded. I am going to swap out this rifle I'm not using for my corrosive weapon. And then, uh, that doesn't work. Oh yeah, make sure my rocket launcher is Oh, this part. It's transmitting the supply request now. We've just got to wait a few minutes and... Angel, that's enough. You can stop pretending to help the bad guys now. Angel? A note to all Hyperion? We don't have long until Jack realizes I'm not helping Stop him. screaming! Defend that beacon. Oh my God, you can't God, handle God. these orders. You're really going to disappoint me. Please. <laughs> I'm gonna let the beacon die because I have this shotgun that can't shoot at long range. Oh, uh, this is this is gonna be so good. No, why did I do that? No, why did I do that? What a waste. Now you should be scared. Do you like me? Where'd he go? Fucking shield severe. Oh god, no! You stay away! The beacon's dead. I just have to repair it in a second. Don't do this to me, bacon. Oh! Huh. Well... I was not expecting that at all. So, uh, yeah. Oh god, hi! Uh... You are an XP loader. 
You're an XP loader. I really like this teapot. Oh, I thought they were closer together. No! I'm back! Uh, bacon? This is going to be a very long and painful uh, defense. Attention, Overlook resident. You're welcome. Oh god, he's landing on my face. Hi. What did I tell you? Please no. Okay, hi. Thank you. I'm rising. Uh, yes, we're yes, gonna yes, yes, ignore yes. you for a second and try and kill something without dying. And now we're gonna play with the constructor because we don't want him doing what he just did. Please stop that. Please. Thank you. Greetings, residents of Overlook. I am Jack M. Moderately happy to welcome you into the high school. Right, well, I'll we'll deal with you last. I'm done. Surveyor, go. Ah. Come on, sir. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Thank you. Looking forward to this quest. Really? We're 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 doing the waiting thing after it took so long. Okay. I thought they had this patched. They said they had this patched. It's not patched. Thank God. I got a new weapon! Uh, it only has one shot for shit. I, I don't know about this. We'll see. Uh, it should be good though. It should be fine. Please? Thank you. God, that that wait time. Everything. Okay, I didn't wait long enough. There are hot loaders now. Uh, which I'm just gonna let the beacon die until the, this uh, badass is dead. You walk the wrong dog. Because there's no uh, real penalties for letting the beacon die. This is something I didn't know until much much later uh, when I actually let it die in Ultimate Vault Hunter. Um, And now I do this a little bit safer. It's almost here. Just protect the beacon for another few seconds. Thank you. The fast travel has landed. Give me a second while I'm calibrating. 
journey to Sanctuary's new position. Fast travel station calibrated. I just want to take in, take in the uh, the failure. <laughs> just, just let it soak all over my face. Yeah. I I was always confused why there wasn't more than one Saturn. Uh, cause he seems like top of the line, and uh, you only get to see one. You'd think he'd have one in every section of Pandora to uh, maintain order. You know. And that actually, while well, it would take away from the specialness of Saturn, uh, being a mini-boss type thing, uh, it would make a lot of sense. And it would add more to the story, I think, as the, uh, the big enforcer of Jack's robot army. Sorry if you heard that. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's uh, Digistruct. The lore behind it is they're created by Tannis with this weird Digistruct technology. You know, like uh, new use stations and stuff. And the uh, catch ride systems, so... Technically it's not a real Saturn. If I remember correctly. Uh... I know they're not real skags and stuff, but I think it's not a real Saturn. Uh, oh, this quest, this quest is fun. He has a Jacobs on his back. Hey, feel like solving a murder? I'm the marshal around these parts. One of these gutter quadruplets pulled in. Where is that a Jacobs? Let's look at it. Ask around in Moxie and Zads, figure out. Which one of these no, no, let, let me look at your back. Please, please let me look at your back. Oh, let's look at this, guys. Uh, oh, it's a doll barrel. That one's a model one barrel, but that's a Jacobs. Uh, the Didistruct DLC was really cool. And uh, they did it well enough to where it doesn't really uh, break the lore that they've done. Well, still adding some interesting elements. I have money and a problem. You're wondering why I don't go out into the field. The answer is old Slappy, a thresher that nearly killed me. Science demands I forgive it. Vengeance demands I kill it. Today, my friend, you. I just skipped the dialogue from Moxie for the uh. The